Good morning. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Now, we are looking at a pretty decent start to your morning commute. So some typical volume building for a Friday on most of our major routes. We had a minor issue. Well, it was a pretty minor issue on the uh, eastbound Gardner uh, just uh, by Islington and the collectors. Uh, but now it's just on the shoulder. So it's not really causing that much of a delay. But you can see in the Express, Things are really building on the eastbound Gardner heading in towards downtown. Just before this issue, though, uh, things are moving fine heading towards the Humber Bridge. Outside of this, uh, we uh, had construction, and it looks like we still might have construction or a stalled vehicle on the uh, eastbound 401. Uh, this is uh, east of uh, Brock Street, or by the 412. It looks like a stalled truck actually blocking the right lane, so that's slowing things down as of right now. Uh, that just actually popped up, so we're going to keep our eye on this. That's a look at your drive, and I'm going to send things over to Frankie for a look at the forecast. Morning, Frank. Hey, good morning. We're just going to start off with a little bit of a fall. All color look. Uh, some color just starting to appear in the Niagara region. Uh, Brian here that works with us says, hey, take a drive down the DVP. The benefit of being in traffic there. Got some nice colors just starting about 45% through the uh, Don Valley Parkway. Uh, where we're seeing the most color right now is up through areas of the north into Perry Sound. Cottage country is going to be fantastic. And as well as you take a look over towards eastern Ontario, if you're maybe going off towards our friends into Prince Edward County. You're going to see some good co color through the weekend as well. Today, fabulous looking day. 18 degrees. We enjoy the sunshine. Tonight, we get into cloud. To through the overnight, we get into some showers. Tomorrow, not the nicest day, but not a washout. The morning's wet. The afternoon will dry up. Sunday, really nice to go for a hike. You'll see partly cloudy skies. Temperatures of 14 degrees here in the city. That's like your next three days weather-wise. Now, on to your news. Thank you, Frank. It is becoming an all too familiar sound in our city. Gunshots. Two separate incidents that we're following from last night, and the first in Regent Park. Here, shots rang out in the River and Girard area around 9 p.m. Witnesses hearing seven to eight shots fired. The 22-year-old male victim rushed to hospital with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. Police are now looking for the suspects. What we do have is two suspects uh, described as both wearing gray clothing. One of the males wearing a dark or black colored toque. Both are described as between the ages of 24 to 30 years of age. And they were last seen fleeing southbound on river in a silver vehicle. As always, if you have any information in this case, please contact police. Same situation in this uh, other shooting that we're following. Call them if you know anything about this one in Scarborough. Police called here to Brimley and Lawrence around 1130. Reports of between 8 to 10 gunshots. A male victim rushed to hospital, remains in serious condition. We have no word yet on suspects. Well, after a motorcycle rider was killed in a multi-vehicle crash on the QEW yesterday, another rider involved in a collision last night here in Toronto. And it happened just after 11 o'clock on the Queensway near Stock Avenue, which is just east of Kipling. This crash involving the motorcycle and a car, but it's not clear how the two collided. The male motorcycle rider rushed to hospital with serious to life-threatening injuries. The female driver rem uh, did remain at the scene. No word on charges here, but the Queensway has just reopened.